All right, we're gonna do a quick walk around of our Lakota Charger Edition. Starting with the front here, we have a dual batteries in a contained lockup case, a dedicated full-size spare, of course, two propane bottles with switching valve and full hydraulic lifts. We also have the drain up in the front or external water source that can be used. The hitch features an extension so it can be used on long or short beds. We have a short bed F-250 that we hold this with with no issues and this gives us the additional clearance uh, that we need. Walking around, all the windows are tinted. Not sure if they're dual pane or not, but uh, but it's very warm inside and it keeps it climate pretty good. Here you have your fresh water connection, city connection, and you have your slide. This is where the dining room table goes and we'll show you in a little bit. On the other side, you have your, your heat displacement here for your heater. You have your satellite connection and your electrical connection. You also have your basically a ventilation system behind all your fuse panel. Here you have your water heater, hot water heater, which works extremely well. Here you have all the, here's your escape door. All these windows are fully drop down windows. I showed them in some of the pictures. Um, they can also be locked up, of course. You have big storage underneath the mangers, the feed mangers. These are new tires, uh, brand new at America Tire. They're car still even have the little pieces of rubber on it. We've only taken it out once uh, since getting the tires. So you, something you don't have to worry about. Walking around, we spent the money to buy a ramp uh, for older horses or just to make it safer to load. Um, that came directly from Lakota, by the way, and was shipped to our installer who put it on for us. So this is a brand new ramp and it is a Lakota ramp, so it matches. Above, you have two brand new LEDs. Had these installed at All American Trailer. You can see them up there. Uh, sorry, they're extremely bright and really nice for loading opposed, uh, I mean, compared to the, the lights that come with the trailer. Also, these lights here, these LEDs have all been replaced. Um, and here's all your switches for external lighting and internal lighting, including the fans that your horses have to keep them cool and keep air circulating on hot days. Walking around the other side of the trailer, you have your full drop down windows for the butt side of the, for the horses. Of course, you have your tabs there to keep your doors open. St. Carlo tires, of course. Here you have the awning, uh, comes in and out very nicely. Here you have an outdoor uh, outlet you can use for anything you have outside and then i have also installed two brand new kicker uh, the maximum size that i could get in there with a spacer uh, because the original speakers didn't sound very good and now it sounds extremely good um, here you have your ventilation over your stove outdoor light this here illuminates blue at night to see it when you grab it of course all these steps fold up Everything is aluminum. And this side of the window. And that is a walk around of our Lakota Charger Edition. Three horse living quarters. Okay, now we're gonna look at the horse area and your storage. I included pictures. On the side of here, you have very large storage very very deep uh, we have an actual like a barbecue and small smoker that put, goes in there all the chairs hoses other things you need the store also here it's hard to say in there but it's very deep we have a rigid vacuum that fits all the way in there and, and other storage items coming around to the back of the trailer so again, the ramp that we had installed makes it very easy to get things in and out. Let's look at the tack area. 
In here you have the ability to put three saddles on the rack. We also keep some additional tables for dining outside, uh, your ropes, air hose, water, propane, whatever you need to put in there. Um, of course, we don't have our tack in there right now. On the door, it's not there right now because uh, we've taken it off, but there is a saddle pad rack that comes out and holds your saddle pads so they can air dry. And uh, we've taken that off for now. This also completely comes out. You can see there, top and bottom. So this wall can be completely removed if you wanted to give more room back there um, for a horse that might have a, an issue exiting or entering the trailer. You can give them a little more room, especially a young horse. So that's kind of nice to be able to have that wall and plenty of places to hang things. Entering inside the trailer, uh, all of these windows, they go completely down on the butt side. It's all got the aluminum floor and padding. You can see the floor is in excellent condition. Uh, we're always really good about, well, we really haven't even used it that much, but good about cleaning it out right after we use it. Here you have the aluminum. Well, first let's go to the front. Uh, we put a towel rack up here uh, because it is nice to be able to hang your towels out here to dry um, after a shower or if you get wet. Here you have your escape door and then there's a bag, a hay bag that attaches there, of course. Uh, we have this extra step and a runner we put in here for dirty feet. Here you have all your vents and this has fans, um, which is very, very nice and all LED lighting. So it gets very bright in here. This was very important to us. If you have a horse that might kick another horse, this aluminum kick skirt is great. It's a lifesaver. So uh, that was very important. The mangers are deep and do a great job putting your hay in there. They also, of course, has a drain down at the end. So in case any water uh, were to get in there for any reason while you're driving, it can drain out. Of course, the head separator, and all of them have the padding on the door, and the operation is very, very easy. And you have this last manger, and this is for the three horses. Okay, back of the tree, the horse area is for attack, inside here, we're going to show the rest of the trip. Okay, so now we're going to take a tour of the inside of our Lakota Charger Edition. All the doors have the device that holds them open, but also that stops them from slamming into the rig, which is very nice. It stops a lot of those dents from happening. And here, we'll start with the door. Of course, it has a screen door, has the slide uh, in order to get to the handle. It also has a nightshade that you can put down up there. As we first walk in, we'll start with the bedroom. This is a queen bed. Uh, mattress is only about six months old. we got a very good mattress for it. And it comes with fold down shades, valances, two lights, storage behind the bed as well, cabinets, and an area where you can put candles or something else there. Moving over to this side, it has another storage right here, uh, which is very big. Uh, and, and there's also inside of there, there's cables. You could set up a TV up here if you wanted, but you can see the TV. I'll show you very well where it's located now. All of this is real wood. It's not like a compressed wood. Moving around, you have the Jensen. And this is kind of nice because you can you can have your music playing okay and then it also interconnects to the tv right so it'll show you what track is playing but you can also put a movie on in the same location so in here you can put movies in uh, it does have a satellite tv right here uh mantana on the roof it can be connected so you can watch direct TV or dish or whatever you like. Here you have the sofa and this sofa does pull out 
into a bed. So you have more sleeping room here. It also has storage cabinets underneath. You have your uh, warning device there for gases in the cab, uh, vapors that you need to be aware of. You have your vents down on the floor for your heating and or cooling. Go to the kind of the command center here for it. Here you have your gray tank, black tank, fresh water battery, and then your heater and water pump, which you can turn on and control from here. Here you have the lights up in the front, so you can control those, turn them on and off. Okay. And then below you have the slide and the awning. You'll see one of our horses out there right now. Okay. Uh, Coming around, you have your fire extinguisher. We've installed a cowboy bottle opener there. Keys to store your keys for the rig. You have a lot of storage underneath here in the cabinets. So you can put quite a lot of stuff in there, but we don't even have it all the way full. Moving around to the cook range, you have an oven. It's by Suburban. You have a cooktop, and this is a three burner cooktop that lifts up and folds away when it's not being used. There you go. And one thing I'll mention is that we paid and had every single handle replaced in here because they just had a standard flat handle. So all of them are a Western star on every, every cabinet in the rig. Here you have your sink, dual sink. Here we have a wine rack, so you can hang your wine glasses. Of course, not while you're traveling. You put those away. And then you have an outlet, and you have here to, to be able to turn on your light. Okay. You also have this for your light and fan on your cooktop. You have more ventilation down on the ground. You have all of this storage here. Here's your control for your AC. It blows very cold and it comes in handy when it's hot. Now we're going to come over here to this side of the slide. The slide is a pretty good size slide. Um, it makes it very spacious in here. You have storage above. Underneath each one of these sofas is a lot of storage. That table drops down in between here and you can make it into a bed. So now you, you technically have three sleeping areas in this rig. Okay, now we're going to move here. Uh, we could throw this in with it. It's a rack that we have that really just makes it nice and it gives you some additional places to put, you know, wine bottles or, or whatever you want. The refrigerator works extremely well. It's made by Dometic, probably one of the better units out there. It can run on propane, of course, or electric when it's plugged in. It has storage down below, and then you have your ventilation. They are push tabs. Very, very clean. There you have your freezer. And by the way, we do keep this plugged into a minor power source at all times. So that way the unit doesn't get dried out or anything like that. Now we're going to go into the bathroom area. Um, it, the trailer comes with all of these add-ons like these towel racks and racks to hang your clothes. Um, this is kind of nice for when you're showering, you can just reach and grab that. It does, you know, of course, standard RV toilet. Um, here you have a really nice, uh, fantastic vent. It's one of my favorites. If you push this, uh, it'll clear air out of here very, very quickly. And it's automatic. It opens it up um, as soon as you hit that. Okay. Here you have your outlet and your sink. You have plenty of storage underneath. You also have the ventilation. This is your fuses and fuse box relays. Here you have your cabinet for your things you need and a towel holder. 
over here you have your closet and you can, this is a full hanging so you can hang uh, your clothes in there and take a lot of nice storage you have lots of drawers and another one clothes that you can hang clothes or store things the shower is a full stand-up shower of course i guess it depends how tall you are but i'm 5'10 uh and 180 and i can fit in here very nicely um so it is nice to not have to be too cramped in there and it is a dual form plastics liner in there uh, so no had no issue leaking or anything like that uh, some lighting you have a skylight and you have a vent which is really nice in during hot summers in the bathroom to keep it cool and then you have your exit to the back from the living quarters into the back of the trailer turn around and give you a view through so you can get an idea of the length and how spacious it is uh, for a horse trailer so it's and I'll answer any questions anybody has after this gets posted. Thank you.